Rogers, a former lieutenant detective and a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Again, Steve, a, a, an amazing uh, response from police here. Uh, you know that they knew that this gunman was responsible for uh, gunning down a couple of dozen people at the very least, and yet they were able to take him without firing a single shot. And they also knew, John, that uh, maybe one or two of those officers would not come out alive. They know that they were dealing with a crazed gunman. And you see, the officers didn't know what they were walking into, but the killer knew who was coming after them. But to the training and the testament of these police officers, they were able to take them alive. And what a critical move that was, because now it'll help police investigators find the motive and why that location. Before Columbine, I'm guessing, there wasn't much in the way of active shooter training in police departments, and now everybody's doing that, right? John, I was a police officer from the 1970s all the way to 2011. And in the 70s and 80s, no training at all with regard to active shooter uh, incidents. Since then, since Columbine, we have the best training on earth here in this country, in the smallest of towns to the largest of cities. And you saw the results of that training in El Paso when they were able to take that gunman alive. And, you know, you were sitting here as I interviewed Glenn Oakley, who is a, a U.S. Army active duty soldier uh, who was in the mall and carrying his legal weapon, uh, legal, I assume he had it concealed, but in Texas you wouldn't necessarily have to conceal it. Um, and he was ready to respond, um, ready to respond uh, to, to the shots fired. All right. So members of the um, well, the local uh, city officials in El Paso are getting ready for this news conference. We also are going to be hearing from the police department and we will perhaps uh, get some more information about, um, well, this terrible event there today. Um, all right. So uh, just real quickly on that, the, the fact that Glenn Oakley was was ready to respond with his own uh, legally held weapon. That is a testament to the uh, gun owners who are responsible. There's an example of a responsible gun owner who did what? Who protected people on the way out so that they would not be harmed. And he's trained as well. Trained. As a They're all the trained. Army. They're yeah. all trained. Responsible gun owners are trained.